hi 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 it's Tahia here and so today I'm back again with another tutorial on uh, managing the chain requests of your application um, as a business analyst and so without further ado let's jump right to the tutorial um, okay so first off I want to talk about um, why do we need the type of document um, so the first reason is that um, the team need to understand the scope of chain um, for example uh, you will need the estimate for the uh, chain so that the customer can uh, keep track of um, the timeline secondly um, the chain request document is important when it comes to determining uh, the impact of incorporating the chain because um, every change will come with um, a certain degree of risk uh, so you need to sort out um, what impact it may have on the other features and so um, this is the second reason the third one is that you need to seek um, approval and disapproval of the chain request for example if um, the chain request as uh, this the chain um, needs a lot of effort um, and with commensurate to um, a lot of money and some customer may not be happy with that and so uh, you need to have the approval um, to make sure that um, they um, they won't maybe retaliate after the change have been done and they found out that uh, there are a lot of hours and efforts put into the chain um, the fourth reason is that um, it is you need to communicate and implement the change approve um, chain request um, so um, you need to communicate it to the team and all the stakeholders so that they can um, know which change are being implemented and um, how to organize them okay so that is the four reason especially in the fixed cost um, project um, that a BA need to monitor the cost of the bank a chain request is very important in that case um, yeah so um, so now I will formulate uh, I will show you how I formulate a document um, that is called chain request um, so this um, as usual this is not the definitive way to do this one but uh, this is how I do it uh, with the um, goals that I set because um, the format really depends on your company uh, and in, com in my company normally is all is also have the cover page the document control but uh, to make this one real quick I will just uh, do a very basic kind of document um, so as so what do we have here so as usual we have the name of the document the project name um, the person who created it, and the effective date the version and the overview so um, in this document you will list out um, the change that incurs during the communication process for example if you discuss something with a customer and you realize that this is actually a chain request you will put it here um, and you also need to put the chain which are approved and um, unapproved here as well okay and um, this document will be shared with the customer so that um, he or she can approve uh, in the approved days column okay so i will walk you through um, the format of this document so the first one um, is okay so the first one is the requirement id for example uh, the first one would be the requirement one and the module for example the authentication um okay so take a look at this one so for example um in this login the customer wants to not only sign in with um, email and Google, uh, he or she wants to sign in um, through Facebook and Twitter as well. So um, you will put the module here is the authentication. Next is the sub module, which is the login, and the requirement is uh, add uh, more authentication method to the app and. Uh, for the description so this um, this first column look like the feature list I mentioned in the fourth tutorial so for the requirement description you will um, put more detail for example we will 
uh, need to implement the Facebook and Twitter authentication and next we will have the estimate for example this is a new feature so the old estimate would be zero and the new estimate would be 10 or 4 okay so this is just the ballpark uh, number <laughs> um, I just come up with for the tutorial okay so for the chains I will actually I put the long tab here and for the chain hours so this one is zero and this one is ten so you put 14 here um, and the re requirement classification so we have uh, original requirement chain request or defect so this one is the new feature so you put it here and this is your requirement which is a ticket on Trello to handle this task uh, so you put it the link to the uh, ticket as well and the date added so the days that the business analyst add this item to this list you will put it here and for the note um, is the necessary note and uh, we have to approve the column here uh, if the customer approves a chain request um, he will put the date um, when he approves a chain here okay um, next we have the second example um, so requirement to the, the requirement to uh, the model is the search module and the search result um, the requirement the new requirement is that the user can search with more detailed information so currently they only can search with the name of the food item but now the customer want to start with the restaurant name the menu the description and the review of the item as well so you will put the description here and the old estimate is zero because you uh, you already implemented this one and so um, the new estimate is the completely new estimate for this task so this is uh, 12 and 2 so together it is 14 as well and this one is the chain request so you put it the chain request here and put the link to the trailer car here the day at add it and the day approved so this one has been approved on the november 6 and so um, this one hasn't been approved because the customer want uh, to add the quick wechat authentication as well so you will need to make necessary change to the ticket and re-estimate the effort for the wechat also and after that you will um, need the customer to uh, re-approve the chain request okay so now um, let's go to a live example so for example uh, we number three and it's about the delivery module and the sub module would be the delivery record okay so for example um, the okay so I will open the design so for example the deli delivery address here um, so currently it's only one delivery address but now the customer want to have multiple delivery address for example home parking lot and the work delivery address so you uh, he want to Im increase the delivery record here so you will put the requirement the okay so currently um, user can add up to five delivery address and uh, currently he or she can only ask one and and to add new he or she need to replace it okay so this is uh, and for the detail you will need to um, include all the detail uh, needed for the chain request for example um, the user um, can, um, there will be a new screen added in order to um, manage the delivery okay um, secondly um, there is there are new behavior as well so the user can add or remove um, a record and the user can select a default um, record and lastly um, show the default record uh, on top uh, see how the screen okay so i will show you now so if um, the the default one will be shown here so you will include here as well and our estimate will be zero the new one for example you put here 
seven or five this one uh, you need to distribute um, this requirement to the developer and they will put the SMA the new SMA here and the chain will be 12 and this one is the new feature and okay so now uh, you go and create the ticket to handle this one okay uh, so you add it in the pipe lock uh, this one is mobile so you add the mobile here um, Okay, so the user can add multiple address to the delivery record and you put a description so just to be quick I will put I will copy and paste it here um, and um, normally I would put the label here so for example if it is chain request I will put the chain request here um, because it uh, and creates another label which is a brew chain so if this one has been approved um, I will put the label approved here also so to notify the team that this one um, has been approved and they can uh, implement this one okay and after that I will copy the link and put it here and the day approved okay so the day approved which is today uh, November 7 and this one hasn't been approved yet and for the note, for example, you write here a new screen to be the record. You will say um, the record screen hasn't been okay. To, so to make sure that um, uh, this one, this uh, SMA can change if the design arrive. Okay, so that is so, and you will share this one with um, your customer and give them the link okay so this, uh, this is how i document the chain request and keep track of um, the purchase for the customer so i hope you learned something new today and if you do please consider hitting like subscribe to my channel i really appreciate and see you in the next video for more uh, business analyst tutorial bye